Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to make this video for you guys this week because I think it is very, very important. This topic that we're going to cover today, that is the Ben Yetter Player of the Month SBC. Because right now we're in the middle of the headliners promo, right? We have a lot of cards that are in packs. The hype is on the new cards. We have upgrade SBCs. We have a ton of other SBCs coming out. But this SBC right here could be massive for the game of FIFA Ultimate Team this week. So I want to take a look at Ben Yedder's informs, look at the SBC, could we possibly invest for it, and also take a look at um, the just the League One Player of the Months in general and talk about those and what I think could be coming for this SBC and what they might decide to do for this SBC because if we go and take a look at the nominees for this month's Player of the Month, which is the month of December, these are the members that we have available to vote on for the league on. It is Dimitri Payet, Wissam Ben Yedder, and Ludovic Ajorke. Is that how you say his name? Ajorke? I don't know how to say his name, to be honest. Uh, but the really the guy here, it's really going to be Ben Yedder. If we take a look at the stats, he's got, uh, I think that says four goals and, and two assists or two, two decisive passes. I'm guessing that means two assists. Uh, and then this guy, uh, three goals, I guess, from... Um, from uh, RC Strasbourg, and then Dimitri Payet's got two goals, two assists. So for me, it looks like it's a runaway with Wissam Ben Yedder, and of course the fan vote for this is pretty big as well. Uh, I think Ben Yedder is going to take the cake on this one as he should. He should take the cake on this one. I don't think there's really a competition for who's going to win. It's got to be Ben Yedder in my opinion, but I wanted to kind of show you guys this. A lot of people were talking about a Neymar Player of the Month before. That might be for February, or excuse me, for January. We'll see that Player of the Month SBC in February, but for this past month of December, it looks like Ben Yedder is our guy. So we're going to take a look at this Jeff Rene Adelaide SBC. Take a look at Ben Yedder's special cards and kind of talk about this. And we're going to kind of talk about how EA could really, really play the market with this SBC, in my opinion, and how they want to value this card's price. Right now, his ones to watch is 530, 540,000 coins, which is the most expensive that it has ever been because this guy is on a tear this year. He's playing very well. He's gotten two informs already, um, but he does have a live item. I don't think he'll get into headliner since he has the live item already. We'll see what happens with the next, the second week. But if he's going to get the player of the month, I don't think they would put him into the headliners promo as I don't think he should be in there anyway based on his once to watch card being in game. But I want to talk about this SBC again because I think it's massive. I want to price it and I want to look at some possible investments. So again, I'm going to show you over here on Footbin, Wissam Ben Yedder's 86 rated player, or it wants to watch card, 535K at the moment, 530. 515 is where he's been chilling at. I wonder if people are thinking that this card gets upgraded if he wins player of the month, right? Uh, it, I'm going to show you guys right now that it does not. It does not get upgraded. This is based on the FIFA 19 frequently asked questions about uh, OTW. What, um, and what happens? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? It's, uh, it's right here. When do once to watches get upgraded? Once to watch items will not be upgraded based on player of the month, award winner, SBC, or other in-game events. So um, once to watches do not get upgraded. So that means this card will not go up. If he does get the player of the month, I think it should be a plus two. I think it should be an 88 rated Wissam Ben Yedder. And with that kind of boost, this card could be insane and could be a huge SBC to look out for this week now the pricing of that sbc is another interesting thing to talk about right this 86 inform right now is sitting at 470,000 coins when he was in packs he was 370 so he's basically up 100k out of packs and then this 85 ben Yedder is who everybody used early on in the game he was put into packs again for black friday as you can see here he was 300k dropped down to under 200 and he's kind of just been chilling around the 200 range He's back up now, but I bought this card over the team of the year time period for like 150 to 160s right before team of the year came out. He's went up to 200. He's still there. So what would they value a, let's say it's an 88 rated uh, Ben Yedder player of the month. What would that SBC be valued at? And that's the really big question with this and how we kind of look to invest for this is because um, these cards right here, uh, the ones to watch is a live item, right? It's an 86. 
if the SBC comes out, we're in a time period on the game right now where they are dropping a lot of what you would call good value SBCs, right? They're dropping a lot of these good value SBCs. It's a pretty good cost ratio for the card that you're getting back. Lala, I think, is decent. Trent is okay. That player of the month. Uh, the Diego Costa is decent. We had Smalling. We've had Adama Traore. Uh, even the Bruno Silva wasn't that bad that we had during Team of the Year. So... As the way, the way things look right now, they're dropping pretty good value SBCs. And if we look at the past League Un Player of the Month winners, this Jeff uh, Jeff guy was our winner from last month. It was an 83 rated SBC with one League Un player and one Team of the Week required. It wasn't the best ever Player of the Month. He got a nice boost. It's an okay card. I'm not going to do this one. It really does me no good. I don't even think it's worth turning in an 83 squad for him. But if we take a look at the past winners of this SBC, we've had Victor Osimen, we've had Jeff Rene Adelaide, and we've had Thiago Silva. Each and every one of these SBCs so far has been a one squad SBC, and that's all it's required. Thiago Silva required an 85 or 86 rated squad, 85 rated squad with an inform, a Brazilian player, and a league un player. So that's, uh, he's around 100K at the moment. So this Ben Yedder SBC is going to be the first one for League Un that is like a massive SBC, right? Because I think this SBC should somewhere be in the realm of like 600 to 800K, I would say is like a, is like a cool and like very, you know, reasonable price for this Ben Yedder SBC um, based on what his card on the market would be and based on what kind of upgrade they would give him based on how they're pricing SBCs as of late as well. I would say anywhere from like 600 to 800 K would be the range for this SBC. I know it's kind of a big range, uh, but right now, if we take a look at some of the high rated players on this game, um, and if nothing has changed by the time you're watching this video, these players are very, very inflated. 86s are almost 20,000 coins. 85s are 11 to 12 K. 84s are 5K, 4.5K, 87s are 25, 88s are 31 plus, and 89s are basically 40K except for a couple of them. So if they make this SBC 600 to 800K when the players are this inflated, what's it going to be later on in the month where uh, when these players are not inflated as much? Because, you know, these player of the month SBCs are out for a while, right? So I would assume that this SBC would be priced at a point where it's more expensive right away uh, and this is going to be a situation we're going to have to watch as the SBC comes out it might be very expensive up front but it could drop later as this SBC again is out for a month's time and there's plenty of time in a month for a lot of price changes to happen on this game so that's if you're somebody who wants to do that Ben Yedder player of the month if it comes out you're seeing the 88 rated concept card like in the thumbnail of this video and you're like boom that card looks freaking sick I agree it could be a mental mental card um, this Ben Yedder but uh, the pricing of it's really going to be interesting because the high rated golds are just so freaking high right now like I'm, I'm assuming for that Ben Yedder SBC it would probably be you know somewhere between three and four squads actually it's probably going to be four four squads is where I would kind of guess that would be at and you're probably going to be looking at some of the like an 86 87 rated squads in there with a couple informs required for that is this sbc really investable for i honestly i would not recommend really investing in that in this sbc uh with the way the current market is now you could watch some card prices we're going to go back over to flipping for this you could watch some card prices as we get nearer and closer to the SBC. If anybody comes out in this week's team of the week, like the only one, the only type of things that I would be interested in investing in would be a French League Un uh, inform. I would say maybe some League Un informs or a French inform or something like that. Maybe some French SBC fodder if it gets really low or something like that. But other than that, since the SBC fodder is so high right now, I really wouldn't want to touch it. It looks like this cost still might be a decent buy. 83 rated at 12K. If you can maybe get that on bid for like 11K, he's out of packs, I think. Actually, he might be in this week's team of the week. But that's another thing. Watch this week's team of the week. Glick could probably be another good investment as well since he's from Monaco. Um, this guy, if you can get him, again, he was discard on Thursday and Friday. If you can get him down towards the discard range, that would be a perfect investment for Ben Yedder Player of the Month as well. Anything French, anything League One, or anything Monaco, on the informs might be your best bet because I would be really, really sure that informs would be required for this. And then just for uh, regular cheapest players by rating as well, 
what kind of players would you want to invest in? Maybe you pick up like a Falcao, not a Falcao. He's not on your, um, he's not on Monaco anymore. Maybe you pick up a Monaco player or two that's like 83 or 84 rated. There's probably not that many, but maybe you snag one or two uh, and, and see what you can get with those. Stock one or two in the club for that. And then, you know, League Un doesn't have a lot of higher rated rares. So if you can find like maybe this Anthony Lopez, if you can get him like, like 9K under 10,000 coins on bid or something or Rufier, maybe you, you put one of those in the club just to be safe because those cards are again high. And I wouldn't, I would not advise at all by any means mass investing in any of these cards right now, but maybe the informs could be a decent bit of a shout. But the only problem with that is uh, if the SBC does come out and it's an 88 rated card and let's say it costs like somewhere around the 1 million coin range, which it very well could because EA knows that um, these cards are going to be dropping in price, the high rated golds, I mean, and that's going to drop the price of this SBC. So it might be looking like it's going to be costing over a mil right away. And you're like, man, that is way too expensive for player of the month, Ben Yedder. Just wait. And this might be the type of SBC that you do later on in the month. Maybe as we go along, he doesn't get another inform, but you have that SBC still there. The high rated fodders drop, you know, 86s are back down at 13 or 14K and the SBC price drops a lot, right? We saw this with player of the month, Messi coming out before his price graph went up and down so many times because his, his card was out and it was available to be done through SBC through so many promos. So that's what I would do with the Ben Yetter. I really wouldn't advise too much investing for this. I think the most interesting thing is going to be where does EA price this SBC? How does EA upgrade the card? Do they give him an 88? Do they let him hit 90 pace? Do they give him 90 shot? He's going to go above uh, 90 dribbling, I would assume. But how much are they going to juice this card? Because it's it's stupid already. He's probably going to have 95 finishing. High, high work rates of the five-star weak foot and four-star skills. That, there might be people that go out and want to do this SBC and pay a million coins for it. So that would, you know, the more that I think about it, I think EA will price this SBC so that it's expensive up front. But then the real time to do this is going to be waiting throughout the next month when it's available in game, because these are usually available for like 28 days or whatever. Then picking up that SBC card as you see the SBC fodder go lower throughout that time period. But it's going to be interesting to see because you'll probably see some panic selling on the other informs, right? We saw this last time when Benyetter got an upgrade. This card went down a decent amount because or the 85 went down a decent amount because this is just such an OP and such a used player on this game. He's so linkable. He's got that five-star weak foot. He's got the skills and he's got incredible stats. So that's why I wanted to make a video today talking about this SBC. We talked more about the market movements of that card, honestly, than like what actually the SBC could be, uh, what you could make coins off of investing just because the way things stand right now in the market with all these SBCs and with the headliner promo going on, I really don't think it's a good time to be SBC investing and buying SBC investments unless you find some informs that are kind of cheap. So again, check this week's team of the week for maybe a league unplayer or two, maybe stash a Glick or a Costil or a French inform or league uninform in your, your club if you really want to try something out like that. Um, but this Ben Yedder SBC is probably going to be expensive early on because high ratings are expensive and you might see it drop over the next month. And it could be something that we look at doing maybe during February at some point when the, the high rated golds have dipped down a little bit in price. So that's kind of my thoughts on the Ben Yedder SBC. It should be a fun one. I'm super excited. And I made this video today because I think it, it matters. A lot of you guys want to know about this SBC. Um, you want to know what it's going to cost. You want to know what it's going to look like and when you can do it and stuff like that. So I wanted to make this video for you guys that were curious about it today. If you enjoyed this one, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.